All right, and now we have park hopped over to Epcot. We had gone back to uh, the vacation house and Caleb took a really, really great nap. Yeah. It was funny too, because when he got up, I thought it'd be fun to take him to the park. Um, there's a little park, like a traditional style park, outside of where we're staying. <laughs> But we go there and everything was just scalding hot. Like the yeah. slides were just too hot. I'm so glad I checked it before he went down. So that didn't last very long. So we decided, well, might as well go to the big park. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> you know what? Something that we haven't had at all this trip is the typical afternoon Orlando storm. Like we, every, you're usually, right. It always rains like every single day. We haven't had a drop this trip, which is good. Well, knock on wood now. Yeah, it's good. But we also miss that overcast because it definitely provides a little bit of a break in the day. Right. So as we mentioned, we are here in Epcot. We have dining reservations tonight at Coral Reef in about an hour. So I think we're just gonna hang out, walk around. What do you think? Maybe fit in some kid rides? Yeah. Yeah. I have to admit, I love this new entryway. Um, I was never a big fan of those big foothills. I think this looks so much better. Nice and open, cleared out. And I love this... Um, like monolith structure? Yeah, I love this new monolith structure. Okay, we did do the seas with Nemo and friends just the other day, so I think we're gonna head over to Journey, of Imagination. Journey to Imagination with Figment. These are these fun walls where you can stand in front of, and it look you can take a picture. And it looks like you have wings or antenna, but I can't get this one to do no. it. No, <laughs> why don't you do it? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do it. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Figment. You ready to go see Figment? Yeah. Here we are, Journey into Imagination with Figment. This is actually a really cute ride, especially for kids. Lots of science happening behind these doors. So we're currently in line in Journey into Imagination, but unfortunately the ride's down right now, so our journey has not begun. <laughs> uh, but something that we always talk about how awkward Mike is, the four cast members have to come on and make an announcement. And he was fumbling over his words. He's like, Mike's like, he's a pro. <laughs> you never know what would happen if I tried to do this. If I tried to do this, it'd be a hot mess. <laughs> You're like, hi, my name is, my name is Figment. No, it's, it's, it's Mike. Um, it's Mike here. And uh, we're having some issues. And um, I don't know. My name is Patrick. And your tour of imagination suit has been temporarily delayed. That's the announcer. Bro. All right, so he's finally got his talk track down. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but at first it was like, oh, the poor guy, he's, he's stressed. He only fumbled like once. Yeah. He only fumbled yeah, yeah. once, but I did say like, oh my gosh, can you imagine if this was my job? <laughs> no, I could not. <laughs> Mike would literally be sweaty bullets. Like, like, you want oh, me to make the announcement? It, it, it's, it's, it's broken, guys. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to survive. I don't know. <laughs> we're all going to die. <laughs> Brian's broken. Okay, they just made the call. They're, I, we're, not, we're not being evacuated, but it's down. we're not going to be able to ride this today. Well, so we're leaving the building. Unfortunately, this wasn't to be. It's time to sanitize. Oh, oh. This is us too. This uh -oh. is broken too. All right, so how disappointed are you that we don't get to do this? <laughs> eh. It's a fun ride for Caleb, that's for sure. Yeah. So I think we'll be okay if we miss Figment for one trip. Yeah. So while we were in there, I saw a picture of Coco and it reminded me, I totally forgot when we were at Magic Kingdom today, I wanted to get Caleb this sweater I saw, or more of it's more of like a hoodie pullover, but it's of uh, Miguel from Coco. Yeah. Actually, I was like, this is so cute. Let's pull over here. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay. So not only that, we need to get the cocoa sweater, which we found in the Pirates area. Yeah, it was in the Pirates store, so I'm wondering maybe if it's here in Mexico. I don't know. There's not many shops. You have to go inside and stand on that line where the shops in Mexico, you remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're not going to do that. We're going to pass on that. <laughs> but they also have Coco's guitar as well, which is awesome. Yes. Not Miguel's guitar. Um, not even Miguel's guitar. I forget who it is. The guitar in it's, Coco. Um, De La Cruz. De La Cruz. <laughs> um, but also, we saw those statues, which I claimed we were not going to get statues, but right. apparently we are. But Mike found it on Shop Disney. Yeah, but then when I went to go check out, it said it was sold out. Yeah, which I think before it's... you actually add it to the cart, it says it's in stock, which is odd. So. Yeah, so I'm wondering if maybe because I was ordering two, like they don't have enough, they only had one. But then I was also disappointed because you only have it till Thursday to get like 20% off. But... So... I, guess, I don't know. I guess we should have packed to include statues. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna bring home more than you would take because we're gonna get souvenirs and all that stuff. So 
Uh, Told ya. Whatever. <laughs> I'm always right. And so since Figment was a bust, I think we're gonna go, because we have just a little bit more time before dinner, I think we're gonna go jump on uh, Nemo and Friends. Is that what it's called? It's, called, it's called The Seas. It's called it? The Seas with yeah. Nemo and Friends. I never get to correct them on ride <laughs> titles, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and here we go again. You ready to do this, bud? Do you have fun? Do you have a good time? Yeah? yeah? So here is Bruce's Shark World. And as you can see, it is closed for the time being because it's basically a little walkthrough and you can get your picture taken. But we've mentioned before that I have an insane fear of <laughs> water, dark water, and sharks. And all those teeth. He doesn't like I, I, I honestly, I can't even get close to that thing. <laughs> like, no way. I'm good. All right. And even like stuffed animals of sharks, he can't get close to as well. Like, it's irrational. It's completely it's irrational. It's so ridiculous. But, I'm the first to admit it. Exactly. So Mike's a little bit happy that this is one of the COVID-19 restrictions, is that he doesn't need to get in there. We and do not to have to go in there. reaching in through the shark's mouth. <laughs> You see, it's painted the same color as the Find ball. it? It's the blue fire alarm what inside. Cool? What are they called? I think they call the sea banks. It's, yeah, you got the red letters, the blue, and you got the strobe, right? Two loud and the blue faces. Yeah, what does the strobe do? It has lights. Oh, it has lights. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it has blue. He knows this fire alarm. Blinks. And the blinks. Okay, so that was a lot of fun, but I think now we are going to head over to Coral Reef and check in for dinner. Hey everyone, we are in Epcot tonight. We are gonna go have dinner at the Coral Reef restaurant. This is a first for us as yeah. a sit down restaurant. So I know that I've experienced for a corporate buyout a long time ago, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be the same without Mike and Caleb and having an amazing adventure here. So excited about this. Yeah, so let's go eat. Okay, so we just sat down. We just sat down, and this is a really nice restaurant. I love it, but we have, or I have, the worst lighting on my he face. He looks like a universal monster. <laughs> <laughs> Look how good Steve looks. This is so nice. And there's little man. He looks good. Oh, wow. I look awful. A lot of shadows on your eyes. Oh no. I think it's because the light is like right. What if I do this? It's pretty bad overall. Really bad. So here at the Coral Reef, I have to admit, like, the decoration here is phenomenal. Like, you walk in, it's very impressive. I think Mike was actually kind of shocked at how nice it is on the inside, yeah. right? And then we're sitting down, we're kind of on a platform, so I think everybody kind of has a view of the amazing aquarium tanks over there, which is kind of awesome. So everybody can see the fish, we just saw an amazing sea turtle go by. I think he's going to have a great time. How about you lean, lean in the corner of the booth, okay? And pick your head up like Norma Desmond. Yes. Okay. Does go. it look stupid though? Here, I'll angle it like this. All right, it looks much better. Okay. Now I gotta find out what drink I got. So in typical fashion, we're starting dinner off with some cocktails. I got the Captain's Run Runner. This is Captain Morgan Original Spice Rum, Blackberry Brandy, Creme de Banana, and Tropical Juices topped with a float of Plantation Original Dark Rum. It looks really good. It smells good. Let's try it. Very, very good. Very tropical. Very relaxing, refreshing drink. I highly recommend it. So typically when we visit restaurants, we want to check out the signature cocktails. On this menu, there actually were no signature cocktails. However, I did find one at the bottom of the menu that calls itself the Coral Rita. So I went with that. And this is going to be a classic margarita. This has Patron Anejo Tequila and Cointreau. I know we say this all the time, but when I make cocktails at home, we definitely go a little bit more spirit heavy, but this is a pretty good, well-balanced margarita. I do like that it's a bit of a high, or I do like that it's a top shelf tequila. That definitely elevates the entire cocktail. Add to it that they use Cointreau and not triple sec. I'm a fan. All right, Mike's gonna get the bread ready for a little dude. I feel at the at the end of every single time Mike talks, you should do ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Just to go along with the old vampire thing we got going on with your face. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. So you said we have oh, wow. potato rolls here, right? Yeah. 
And some good butter. Is it spreadable? The, the butter is very, very cold. Oh. That's going to be fine. Oh, dear. Okay, there you go, buddy. No All right, there dear. you go. Let's see. Move the plate towards you. It's yours. Do you like it? Does it get a thumbs up? It gets a thumbs up. Awesome. <laughs> So I do, I do get the sense this restaurant is definitely a high rotational restaurant. A lot of tables probably got tur get turned around in here because we've gotten some good drinks here already. We've got our rolls already. He's been asking about our meal, uh, place an order, and typically we like to slow roll these things. I think you guys know that. So we got to get our act together and figure out what we want to <laughs> yeah. order just to be able to catch up here. So um, I'm excited. I already have mine figured out, but Mike is struggling because he's manning the camera here nonstop. So I got to give him a break and let him figure out the menu here. You look like the, the villain in Doctor Strange where they have like the blackened out eyes. Mm -hmm. That's helpful. Yeah, it's nice. It's a big compliment. Big compliment. <laughs> For Caleb's dinner, we ordered him the kids grilled shrimp and it comes with the choice of two sides. We got him the corn and Nemo and Squirt's noggin concoction. So Caleb got his dinner. We always order him a little early and don't let him hear this, but they brought his dessert out already. So we're having to hide it behind the bread basket. But look at that thing, holy moly. He's gonna go into a sugar shock. So how do you feel about the speed and efficiency of this place? Oh, they are very efficient. <laughs> it is very so efficient. fast, you guys. You guys gotta be ready to oh, eat yeah. and be ready to order. So <laughs> nothing wrong with that because again, I know that they probably have like three other right. reservations behind us for this table. And I wanna make sure everybody gets their chance to enjoy this. So. Yeah, and they're probably used to people because we are in the park. So they're probably, they probably feel people wanna sit down, have a quick bite to eat and then get right back exactly. on the rides. But we placed our order for this lobster bisque approximately 45 seconds ago and it's already here. By the way, we split it. Yes. Out of the appetizers, lobster bisque definitely caught my eye, but I knew I was gonna be able to eat a full bowl, so I'm happy Mike was able to split with me. So here we go. <laughs> Caleb just did a chef's yeah, kiss. Yeah, compliments <laughs> to the chef. Is that good? <laughs> what are you doing? He's being a ham right now. Yes, he is. Anyhow, this soup is phenomenal. You definitely get the cognac flavor in it. I think it had cognac in it as well. Um, but very good lobster bisque. I'm very impressed with this. I don't think it has any... Sorry, Caleb, Caleb puts a puppy dog up here on my shoulder because it entertains him, so that's what we're doing. It's cream, brandy, and sherbet. Brandy, okay. The only downside I would say is that there's no chunks of lobster in it, but that's okay. The rest of it is really good. I am really liking this lobster bisque. I think it's got a lot of good flavor. I would have to say I like this lobster bisque better than Be Our Guest Restaurant. Oh, okay. Yep. I don't remember if Be Our Guest had chunks of lobster either, so. I don't remember, but I remember it had just a little bit of seafoody taste that I wasn't a fan of. This is perfect. Nice and creamy, velvety. Love it. You liking the shrimp, bud? Thumbs up. There we go. Oh, dancing. Is that a thumbs up? I think you turned into Janice Joplin over here. <laughs> I, I think we're going to hide the... Yes. Nemo's concoction. <laughs> I think he's already had plenty of, oh, there's that thumb. Oh, number one, number it's one. a number one? No, number two. Oh. All right, we're counting now. <laughs> we're just practicing our numbers. I think so. <laughs> five out of five, five out of five, everyone. Five stars. <laughs> so I think this is the first meal this entire trip that Caleb has actually eaten all the protein right away. So <laughs> Caleb's a big fan of the shrimp, who knew? For dinner, I ordered the classic shrimp and grits. This is sauteed shrimp with cheddar cheese grits, local corn succotash, andouille sausage, and Creole spice emulsion. This is really, really good. It definitely has that like Cajun Creole flavor. I like that. The shrimp is cooked really, really nicely. It has a really good flavor. It tastes fresh. And I really, really like that cheddar grits. And the andouille sausage, I do find the andouille sausage pieces to be very, very small, but they do have a lot of good flavor and give it just a little bit of heat. I like this a lot. For my dinner, I ordered the seared mahi-mahi. This has jasmine rice, coconut and cilantro lime sauce, and Caribbean shrimp salsa. Sounds delicious. It cooked really well. I like the sauce on top of it. It almost has like a really good ceviche-like flavor on top of it. So this is a really good, light, refreshing meal. And it pairs perfectly, I think, with this. It does. This is a good meal. This was so delicious, but I'm so full. I think I'm gonna have to stop here. Between the winning entrees, Mike's definitely won. It was hands down delicious. It is comfort food, so I went with a lighter option over here, but uh, I regret it the second I took a bite of this. 
So if you have a choice, strip and grits is the way to go. You just he, fell out of your- You guys, he is just, he is so antsy. <laughs> But he's done very good considering we did have lunch today at Skipper Canteen and now he's doing another sit down for dinner. And but needless he ate to say, all of his food as well, so he you can't did. complain too much about that. He so. ate all of his shrimp, he ate all of his corn, but as you can see because he's so crazy. Oh yeah. He he's doing that because he asked for dessert. Here, get his attention over there. Hey. He's not having this tonight. No way. But we are gonna take it home for him. Okay, folks, we broke down. We let him have one of the pretzels. Mike gave in. Mike gave in. Mike gave in. Because he was like, we have enough dessert. And his little face looks so sad. It's all right. And he did Mike eat an amazing in. dinner. Okay. Mike gave in. As you can see, that's why uh, we're not giving him the whole Mike thing. Mike gave in. He's literally saying Mike gave in. <laughs> that's not nice. All right, do you want to eat your dessert? Okay, let's try it. We need a full review. We need to know what the consistency are, the flavors, the texture, what it reminds you of. Do all that. All right, try it. We've got one of his pretzels, some caramel sauce, chocolate. It was a piece of candy. Yummy. Okay, that's good. Now try some of the pretzel. No, with your hands, with your hands, not your tongue. That's too messy. All right, it try is it. a little messy, yes. Okay, take a bite. Just take a bite. Take a bite, take a bite, trust me, trust me. There's like little mini M&Ms on anything, he's finally has to them off. All right, come on, bite. One, two, three, bite. Is it good? Is it thumbs up good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be his thing, I think. <laughs> All right, and that wraps up our dinner here at Coral Reef Restaurant. I think so. Uh, my meal is good. It's nice, fresh, and uh, you know, flavors were really good. And I think Mike had the winning entree tonight for sure. I really did. Mine was very delicious. I have to admit, I wasn't quite expecting it. I was a little on the fence. I was gonna get the prime rib, but I did have steak for lunch, so I wanted to branch out. I wanted to try something different, and I'm really glad I did. Yeah, Mike is not typically a shrimp fan, so right. huge for him to take that leap, and it was a good <laughs> leap. So there you go. For sure. And Caleb ate all of his as well, so that's a sign of a good restaurant, exactly. right? Exactly. He ate all of his shrimp, all of his corn. Yeah. We've got dessert to go. Which he doesn't know about. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, it was a great experience overall. Absolutely. Highly recommend this restaurant. I oh, and the view. The view. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the view was amazing. The view was so good. And you know what? I have to admit, I don't remember now, right off the top of my head, if I got any shots of the shark going by. Oh, but the, it's really cool to see all those, all that sea life in that living coral reef. Yeah. Really, really cool. So just outside the restaurant, Caleb was running around and he fell and scraped his knee. Little man down, little We're, man down. Yeah, he wants you to see it. So what happened? What happened? It has a big scrape. You got a little scrape? So it doesn't look down? too, too bad. I wanna see that. Yeah, I'll show it to you when we get home, okay? I wanna see that. Okay. All right. Look how beautiful Spaceship Earth is during this twilight hour. It's so, Beautiful. I already said that, but. So with that note, even though he is okay, he's in good spirits, I think we're gonna end the video here today. It's yeah. been such a fun day. It has been. It's been fun filled, fun packed, great food. Yeah. All we do is eat here. All <laughs> we, we do, do is eat here. Uh, but Caleb got a, a bunch of fun rides in as well, so. Absolutely. So thank you for spending the day with us. We hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.